Live outside the Greenville Housing Authority, the executive director says yes, they are making some changes, but only to help serve more people. Others, though, feel there's a different motive. They cannot afford them. Too many small families are living in too big of homes. That's the reason Greenville Housing Authority officials say they have given 54 families notice to move out. All we want to do is move them to a smaller unit that fit their family. And we will take somebody else off of our waiting list. But some families feel they were misled. I'm not looking for a handout. I'm looking for what was promised to me. Stephanie Loudon has lived in her home for 17 years. She says she has invested thousands of dollars into it, all because the housing authority told her she would eventually have the opportunity to own it. We have put money in these houses. We have paid enough rent to buy the houses for a down payment. Instead, Loudon has been given a Section 8 housing voucher and 60 days to find a new place. I felt like cattle. You just move them a long way and move someone else in. I just can't go for that. When News 4 interviewed the Housing Authority earlier this month, Executive Director Ivory Matthews said she could not speak to what previous administration did. She can only do what is right now, which she says is making room for more families on the waiting list. If we have these fair housing programs, if we're at fair, I don't know what that means, but if we have these so called fair housing programs, then they need to work for the people they were designed to work for. Attorney Fletcher Smith says the Housing Authority may soon have a lawsuit on their hands. He feels the city is trying to push low income people out to put in high dollar development. This is a moral stance that we have to take. I asked Housing Authority officials for another interview today. The executive director was not available, but she did tell me over the phone that all this agency wants to do is serve as many people as possible. Liz Lowheist, WYFF News 4, live in Greenville. Liz, thank you.